Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rayman. I'm back at you again with an analysis of the very recently released um, Shangri-La trailer. I'm just going to analyze some um, of the I thought notable things I saw in the trailer. Just starting from start to finish. So the first thing I saw was monkeys are back, which we all, all kind of knew, but now it means that. It's going to be a little bit easier because you're going to have monkeys every five or six rounds, which means you want obviously that round will be an easier one. And you also get max ammo, unlike Call of the Dead, where there was none of that. So you either had to box or use a wall gun. It just was a lot harder like in later levels to keep replenishing your ammo. Next was um, see a, a female zombie, which is kind of cool. Not, I mean, it's not that big deal, but before... It's all the zombies were males, so now you become female zombies as well. Next, um, you see, I believe it's Takio on a waterfall slide thing, which is pretty cool. I love going down the ice slide on Call of the Dead on the way to uh, the sickle and sleight of hand, or speed call or whatever. I think it's pretty cool you can fire while you're going down it. I, I, I like that. I, I like how Call of the Dead had, all, had stuff like that to go on, it was just, it was a fun thing, I like how it had like the zip line and the flipper and then the ice slide just makes the map a lot more fun to do, a lot more interactive instead of just like you know they're telling where the only really thing to interact with was the teleporter next you see a new, might be the old, but it looks like a new claymore, when you watch the trailer, Rick Toffin puts it down as a claymore, but then when they it's get, he has it in his hands as a claymore it goes down, it's this big spiky claim with thing, so maybe it'll be like Bouncing Betty's in World of War where it does more damage. I think, I mean, I didn't play World of War, but I believe excuse me, that they did, like, they just killed zombies off the bat, whereas Claymores and, and uh, Black Ops zombies only do, I mean, they do good damage, but that's after a certain level, they don't kill zombies. It looked pretty cool. It had a, I mean, Yes, it looks like it sounded like some type of spikes things when it blew up. Next was you have the sickle. I mean, not the sickle. <laughs> no, not at all. The, the bowie knife. Which, I mean, same thing as the sickle. I wish that it sickle. I like that better. I, I like the animation. Yeah, I felt like it didn't really lunge as much as the bowie knife did. Once again, not that big a deal. Next, you see Rick Toffin going down a like a like a cart, like on a roller coaster, or like if you're on a train, or like an old mine train or something. I said once, but I, I like having that. I like how you have more interaction with the map, but it's not just running right around circles, it's you can interact with it and take zip lines and stuff like that. Next you see a spike trap, which is another good thing, because another thing they call it dead harder than all the other ones is there are no traps to kill zombies at the later levels. So like even the scavenger at, at one point would take would take you multiple shots and it wasn't a very good use of just took the later levels took a very long time so that's why I respect people who who get high levels as opposed to other ones we have like ascension you just have the thunder gun and traps but anyways I like how traps are back and makes the yeah, it makes the later levels be a lot less melancholy or keep doing the same trains over and over again after that you see. <laughs> which is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm, just, I'm gonna call it the Baby Maker. It lets, it lets in, the new gun. It might be the JB, whatever the heck I explained in the previous video. And you're like it turns regular zombies into babies. <laughs> so, for lack of a better word, so it's called the Baby Maker. So it'll be just like um, the VR11, except it doesn't affect just one zombie, as you can tell. It affects multiple of them, and I think. We kind of like the freeze gun, but I was thinking maybe you turn them into babies and then you can kill them, or it, they just stay like that, and then they eventually come back to normal form. So like if maybe you want to go save your teammate, you turn a bunch of the zombies in you into babies while you revive them, then after a certain amount of time they come back to normal. So it would be, it's just like the uh, freeze gun in uh, 5. And that, look what I'm pretty sure is the shrieker zombie. It looks like it, it's like a... I'm not sure how the, the new zombie type are going to work, because we already know there's been monkeys. Perhaps we'll have like one or two like every round or something, where you get more zombies being shrieker zombies, but kind of just like, and basing off what I saw in the achievement list, it'll blind you. So like, if you look straight at it, your screen's going to be all white, 
And it's going to be obviously hard to deal with other zombie targets. You can't see anything, so you just shoot in front of you. It looks pretty cool. It has a little, yeah. Alright, after that, we see the napalm zombie. Now this is really interesting to me, because I'll show you, I'm going to show two pictures of it. You have the, like it's crouching down like it's about to blow up, and then it'll blow up and it kills all the zombies around it. So it could be kind of like a good way to get rid of a huge clump of zombies. If you find a napalm zombie, you just, you, I guess, cluster, try to like train your zombies around that one and then shoot the napalm zombie and it'll blow up. Or maybe even like here, you don't see any of the characters around it. So perhaps the napalm zombie is like a ticking time bomb that like does its attack every however amount of time. So that could be actually a really good way to kill zombies without like having to actually shoot anything. Just get around the napalm zombie and then I said it'll help the later levels and make give you it gives you a lot more variety to kill zombies. And also I think it'll make the later levels a lot more fun and easier to get through. And you also see um there's a lift. Which yeah I, I love that. It's also cool just like being up in the air. Like if, I'm not sure if they're gonna add like a since I'm assuming they're not gonna add like a new perk or anything, but the lift I mean, you, it's cool. You just go up and then you're sh you're, on, you're like flying and you're shooting on top of the zombies and obviously they can't hit you. Be another way because from what I'm guessing, there's not going to be a lot of like kiting or train air like rape train areas. Like, I mean, like Ascension has a t has like three or four legitimate ones. I mean, if you're really going to call it that, you could make trains in a couple areas if you know what you're doing. So I'm thinking they're not going to have maybe that many. I mean, Call of Duty, when it first came out, people thought, oh, the, I mean, I did, I thought the only place you could run trains would be in a 74U area. We could also run on a 3 floor of the lighthouse, you could run it on the back of the boat. If you're doing, like, four play, you could run it at spawn, but anyways, so yeah. And then finally, monkeys bombs are back, which once again is a good thing, because Call of Duty, the only way, really, to, like, distract the zombies to save your teammates was... Um, there was no, was, the best way was an upgraded crossbow, but the thing is then you're down a gun and it only has so many bullets, I mean obviously monkey mounts are more, but you could use the VR-11, but the thing is, for some reason, only, like if you shot one zombie made into a human, some zombies would follow and some wouldn't, and it could really screw up, like if you're running, someone's running a train, so it could really screw them up, and it just was, wasn't reliable, but now monkey bombs are back, so... That's, uh, again, this is Rain Man, and I will try to get as much footage as I can when the new map actually does, map pack does come out, and I'll release it here on YouTube. Thank you very much for listening.